the good thing about MTI is that you don't have to be such a worry worrywart. Uh, you know, you, you must be an internal optimist. In MTI, you must understand how to look at the silver lining in, in, in every cl uh, cloud, look for the pot of gold and the rainbow. Because at the end of the day, our job is to create opportunities, right? It's to really find a way to grow the economy and not just grow the economy for growth's sake, but to create better opportunities for our workers, to create better prospects for our companies, right? I think the main thing for us is, is really that the world we're looking at, the global economy, is changing and is, it's looking quite unlike the economy we've been used to for the last 25 years. The last 25 years, we've generally had, uh, obviously, a very uh, fairly safe environment. We've had a peace, we've had a consensus around openness, integration, liberalization. Moving forward, it's actually quite different. Obviously, I think you know, uh, the global, uh, global economy is uh, it's in a tougher time now. There are trade frictions between the two major economies, US and China. Um, domestically, obviously, uh, we have uh, more constraints now in terms of land, uh, in terms of carbon, in terms of just labor force availability, you know, we're not growing as quickly as we used to grow. But in that context, I think that if we are able to be nimble, if we are able to place our bets around certain areas where we have strengths, we are trusted, we have a comparative advantage, I think we have many more opportunities to go. I, I actually am optimistic. I think if we can identify the right niches, if we can organize ourselves to move decisively and quickly, I think we have uh, many, many, many more years of growth left ahead of us.